Hey guys, it's Warren here again with Copeland Small Engine Repair, and today it's just a little, <laughs> a little helpful tent video. Uh, I've been doing this forever, and I learned something today that I did not know. Uh, I got a compression tester here. I've had this thing for years, and it's always worked great. And it stopped working, uh, and I figured out that the little Schrader valve that goes in here was bad. It's just a little straighter valve that goes right in here and they look exactly like the straighter valves for tires i got a whole drawer full of those that's the straighter valve and the one that came out of my compression tester looked exactly like that so it went bad so i thought well no problem i got a whole drawer full of these so i grabbed one of these that's stuck in it and it didn't work and i got online and did some research, took me like a minute, and found out that the Schrader valves in compression testers are not the same as the Schrader valve in a tire valve. They're much lower pressure. Uh, a tire valve uh, has a little thing in here that pushes it open. Uh, so, and the Schrader valves for AC do not work either. Even the one for the low side of the AC, they do not work either. You have to have a Schrader valve made for a compression tester. And if you have working along one day and your Schrader valve and your compression tester goes bad, you're screwed because parts houses and everybody that sells compression testers, they don't stock these Schrader valves. So what you need to do is get online uh, I found a little three pack on eBay. Get online and buy you some Schrader valves for a compression tester and keep them in your shop somewhere in a drawer. So if you're working one day and your Schrader valve and your tester goes bad, you won't be stuck uh, like I am right now. Uh, so I just got online and ordered me a little three pack of these. Of course, they won't be here for like 10 days. So I got to run up to the local parts house and get their loaner compression tester and run down here and pretty much test everything in my shop all at once and write the compression down and then take the tester back. But anyway, that's just my tip for the day. If you have a compression tester, uh, get online and buy you a few of these little Schrader valves just for the compression tester and keep them somewhere in your shop. So if your tester goes down one day, you're not stuck. Anyway, I gotta run to the parts house and get a tester. I'll catch y'all later.